Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Bella. Welcome to those new subscribers and those that have just watched or new viewers. Welcome as well. This video, I usually do a watercolour video, but this time I wanted to do a speed paint video, but it is a fan art video. It's one of the games which when I started drawing, or more so when I started to do the digital art, um, really gave me so much inspiration and uh, it's Final Fantasy X because when I first started playing the game one of the things that really caught my eye was the visuals, the graphics, the scenery, the landscapes. I've put pictures at the beginning and these are just one of my favourite ones that I've put up there but they're images that when I was playing it was one of those games where I had to play again and I had to just continue watching and then just looking at the cutscenes. It was one of the games where at the time when it came out, uh, you couldn't just access the cutscenes and the videos so quickly. But if I wanted to be able to just get the videos and just watch all the cinema cuts, that was one of the main things that I was always blown away with because I was just impressed with at the time when it came out how amazing the graphics were but it was one of the games that I played where it just inspired me to just continue drawing it made me just want to continue sketching and coming up with ideas and it really got me interested into starting to do hyperrealism so even though I didn't do a digital drawing I decided to do a watercolour painting instead but I wanted to do a watercolour painting one because I wanted to see if I was able to capture a similar image to the graphic design but then I thought instead of doing that just kind of capture like an essence of it and then just paint with similar colours and then just do my best that I can so the picture that I decided to do or the picture that I went with is the one with Tita Sununa and this scene I love especially for the colours, all of it is beautiful, it's bright, the the lake, the reflections in the water, all the beautiful colours, all the um, two globes within the trees, the, like, the fireflies, the stars, everything. So this was um, really enjoyable for me to be able to do and something that I didn't get bored doing. So to start with, um, I've done it as a mix, so it's watercolours, but it's acrylic paints as well. And I started off doing with the watercolours and I've just done like really light water paint colours to do with the background. And then I've done the same with the water and I've just done like a first cover. And then after that, just waiting to do the rest of the details. And I've mixed it with doing a lot of greens, of blues, and then just done different colours. So I make sure I do like darker blues, darker greens, and starting to do the tiny little dots with the acrylic paint to do the stars at the back, and then just mix the white and green acrylic paint just to do the details in the tree. So I didn't really have a plan to start with, but I was just kind of going along to see what best works with the painting and then just try to make it look as close to the original as I can obviously just doing as much as I can with the watercolours because I'm having to compare and do something similar to a digital drawing so I won't be able to get it exact um, with the water when I was doing the water I started to do a little bit of the ripples I was thinking usually I have problems with doing water to make it look um, more realistic but obviously I'm just kind of just going with it to look a bit more illustrative and um, I started doing the ripples just doing the lighter colours and then after that I started to do the darker colours afterwards but eventually I did continue doing the black paint as well acrylic black paint just to darken it a little bit more and then I did do another acrylic paint to do the colours just to try to do the reflections the main thing that I found a little bit more difficult was to do the little gems or the stars that are on the edge of the water just next to where the, um, the grass is. And obviously in the original, those gems, they're really bright. 
So having to kind of create the same effect with the paints, I just used the whites, the greens, and then just done um, the different shapes just to show that it's more diamonds. But I wasn't able to get the quite the the glow or the sparkle in them, but I done the best. I was quite pleased with what came out with the two glows in the in the trees that I was able to create something that's quite similar. I thought that I was going to struggle with that came out anyway i do have the finished video at the end so i'm going to leave and then continue with the end of the drawing again if you do like these videos and you want to see more uploads then do give this video a like and if you enjoyed this video then do subscribe for more video uploads and thank you for watching